Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I wanted to share a declutter video, so I wanted to let you guys know which products are going to be leaving my collection. If you're new to my channel, I do film these declutters a little bit differently. Sometimes I do traditional declutters where I sit down and go through my collection and say, am I going to keep this? Am I not? But I also like to throw in these type of declutters where I've already gone through my collection and selected what I'm getting rid of and then just share it with you guys on camera. And the reason for that is because I do keep my makeup collection pretty small and curated for the most part. So I don't always have a lot to declutter if I am doing a traditional sit down declutter. So I like to just kind of pick through it and see, okay, I could probably get rid of this and this and then share the products with you guys. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I upload Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern. I would love to have you subscribe. But for now, let's go ahead and hop into the video. All right, so the first product that I'm gonna be decluttering is this palette right here. So this was sent to me in PR a month or two ago and I did review it on my channel. I was very appreciative to receive it so that I could test it out and share my thoughts with you guys. But now that I've done my review, I just don't think I need to keep it in my collection. I mentioned in the video that I was a little bit underwhelmed by the shimmers in this palette. I do like the face side, so I debated keeping it just for the face shades, but I've noticed that ever since I've had it in my collection, the only time that I was reaching for this was when I was testing it out to review. But once that review was over, I don't think I've reached for it once. Maybe the face shades, but this is a palette I would kind of have to force myself to grab because I have other products that are similar that I prefer the quality of. So for me, I would rather just pass this along to a friend who would be so excited to have it and so excited to play with it. And I'm just going to get it out of my collection. The next product that I'm decluttering is this right here. It is the Vitamin Wake Up Mist from Pixi. Now, I've tried all four of Pixi's facial mist, and this one is my least favorite, and it's not bad. There's not really anything wrong with it, but I don't ever reach for this. I don't tend to use just facial, uh, that's not even true. I do love facial sprays. I love the Mario Badescu rose water one. I love the lavender chamomile one. So something about this, I just don't find myself reaching for it. And oddly enough, all of the Pixi products in this packaging have a different um, spritz to them. It's so strange. Like my Glow Mist has the best spritz ever, but this, see, you, that was a, it's just like, and I don't know. So I have other facial sprays. I would have to work to complete this one and I'd rather just pass it to a friend who would enjoy it and just get it out of my collection. Next, I'm going to be decluttering this highlighter from Lorac. This is the shade Moonlight, and this was actually a favorite of mine for a while. I bought this at the Ulta Days of Beauty sale probably in fall 2016, I believe, and I really liked it, but at that time, my highlighter collection was very small, so it's not like I had a good reference of what my highlighter preference was. But ever since then, I have added quite a few other highlighters to my collection. I know that I prefer something a little bit creamier, a little bit more long wearing than this. And the reason I was holding on to this was because it was such a pretty pink shade. I'll swatch it for you guys right here. And I didn't have a ton like this. I mean, I have some other pink highlighters, but I didn't have a ton like this. But recently, I actually received this highlighter from Becca. They sent me the shade Prismatic Amethyst, which if you're wondering, that's my highlighter today. And these are not the same. I'm not telling you they're the same because look at this. They're not. And this one is a little bit more almost duochrome-y. I'll swatch it for you as well. If you can see that. And I just, I love this Becca one. I'm wearing it today. And this is kind of what I wanted the Lorac one to be. So for me, I feel like this fills that place in my highlighter collection of a fun, unique, rosy color. And I don't necessarily need this one anymore. Next, I'm going to be decluttering this palette from Koki. It's their Strobing Highlighter Palette. And I mentioned this in a Disappointing Products video a while ago. These highlights are basically just powders. And... They, I mean, they're creamy powders, but they don't look nice on the skin. You just get a little bit of glitter. And I even like a subtle highlight, but these don't look like a subtle highlight to me. They look like a weird chalky powder with a little bit of glitter. These just aren't that great. I'm also going to be decluttering this little eyeshadow palette from Koki. It's the Indigo Night palette. So... 
it's cute and I like the colors but for me the only color in here that I, I said I like the colors that's not true I was just about to say I only like one color in here I like the idea that it's cool tone and I don't have a lot of cool tone palettes but the only thing that I really liked was this blue right here in the center and it's pretty but I've been keeping this palette because I'm like okay wait I really like that blue but I never reach for this palette, not even to use that blue. I think I've done one or two looks with this. The quality is okay. I don't think it's... It's just okay. By the way, I know you guys have been wanting to hear my reviews on the new Koki Artist palettes, which that's going to be coming probably next week, by the way. It'll be in my next Best and Worst New Makeup releases, so stay tuned for that. This, it's okay. I like that it's small, but I never reach for it, so I'm going to pass it on. And finally, I'm going to be decluttering a few items from the latest Pixie Spring collab collaboration line with different influencers. Now, I did review these, so I will leave my reviews. I will leave my reviews for this and the Backtalk palette, whatever I have. Any videos that pertain to these, they'll be in the description box down below if you'd like to check them out. So this is the collaboration with Dulce. Now, I did keep the lip palette, which if you're wondering, that's what I'm wearing on my lips today. I've been having a lot of fun with it recently, so I did keep the lip palette. But this is the Cafe Candolce. I'm sure you guys are laughing at my pronunciation right now, but that's the best I can do. This is her face palette. Now, this is okay. And I was gonna... No, it's... I wanted to keep it because it's so cute and I love shimmery um, bronzers. But I mentioned in that video that these look beautiful when I first apply it, but they do get a little bit glittery at the end of the day. And my best friend is a huge fan of her, so I'm just going to pass it on to her. I'm also decluttering this little Whaley palette. Now, this, these two, actually all, uh, these two especially, I really considered keeping because I do really enjoy the quality, as I said in my review. But I have these colors in my collection. And even though I like the Let's Talk Eyes palette, that's the name of this one, Let's Talk Eyes, I just know that I already have these shades throughout my collection, so if I'm going to be doing a look with these colors, I probably won't be reaching for this palette when I have it over and over and over again. So I'm going to pass this on to someone who could get more use out of it than I could. And the final item that I'm decluttering is the Pixie Chloe Morello Romantic Radiance Palette. Now, this is one I almost kept just for the blushes because this peach blush right here is beautiful. You guys know I'm a sucker for peach blushes. But, we have a train coming. But because I love peach blushes so much, I have quite a few others. So I don't really need to keep this just for this blush right here. These eyeshadows, they're all great quality, but I have them pretty much. So I'm going to pass this along to someone who does not have these. So that's going to go ahead and complete this video. If you can hear a train... I'm just going to go with it because we are at the very end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I just wanted to share a quick update on what I am getting rid of. My I usually keep a declutter box and then I just put things in there periodically and I noticed that it was starting to get pretty full so I figured I should come on camera and share with you what I'm getting rid of. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye!